Today we're going to learn how to turn our micro bit into a stopwatch. So from the main homepage, scroll down past live coding, past games, past radio games, past fashion, keep going, keep going, tools. Under tools, we're going to click on stopwatch. We're going to start the blocks tutorial. So the project turns the micro bit into a simple stopwatch. Pressing A starts the timer. Pressing B displays the elapsed seconds. Okay. So add an event to run code when button A is pressed. I don't need start, I don't need forever on button A pressed. Let me double check, that's all I need. Next step, add code to store the current running time in a variable start. This is the start time. So it looks like I need to make a new variable called start and put running time in it. So I go to variables, type the word start. I'm going to set start to the running time. From input, I get running time. If you don't see it, click on more. There it is, running time. Snap that into the zero. So when I press button A, it starts the time. Just like that. Next step, add an event to run code when button B is pressed. From input, I pull out on button A pressed and I change it to button B pressed. That's all I need. Next step, add code to compute the difference between the running time and the value time. This is the elapsed millisecond since pressing button B. So how long has it been running? So it looks like I need to make a variable called elapsed and set it to something minus something. It'll probably be zero minus zero and then running time minus start. So let's do that. Let's make a variable and call it elapsed. That means how much time has gone by. We're gonna set elapsed to, and then I needed a zero minus zero it's going to be the running time minus the start. So I go to input, more, running time, snap it into the first zero, running time, minus start, which is a variable I made, start. Okay, everything looks good. All right, next. Add code to show the number of milliseconds elapsed. Use integer division to divide elapsed by a thousand and get seconds. So we don't want to see milliseconds, that's too much. All right, so I need a show number, then elapsed integer divided by a thousand. That way I'll see seconds and not thousands of milliseconds. All right, so I need a show number on button B so I can see how much time has passed. And then integer divided by a thousand. So let's go into math. I don't see it, but guess what? I know it's in the square root thing. So I'm going to pull out the square root put it right there and I'm going to change square root to integer divided by. Okay, so on the left side of integer divided by I need elapsed, on the right side I need a thousand. So elapsed is a variable I made, put that in the first zero, and then I'm just going to type 1000 in the right zero. Because we don't want to see milliseconds, we want to see seconds. Alright, let me make sure everything's right. Show number elapsed, integer divided by 1000, all right, let's go to next. Try your program in the simulator, okay? Press button A to start the stopwatch and B to get the current elapsed time. All right, let's see. One second, two, three, four, and five. Oh, I said I was closest to four seconds. All right, let's reset it. Try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I counted way fast. That was only three seconds. All right, it says you can press B multiple times. Oh, now it's been nine seconds. Now it's been 12 seconds. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that code. Um, something I might want to add is, like I'm gonna put a check mark. Well, it won't let me do it here. Let me go on to next. I'm gonna put a check mark under set start, or start the running time to show that I started the timer. Because sometimes when you press the button A, it looks like nothing's happening even though it is running the time. All right, let's check it now. I'm going to press A to start. There's my check mark. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got it that time, five seconds. All right, that's it. That's our stopwatch code. As always, remember you're going to click share, publish, and of course, copy that link and paste it into Canvas for me. Have a great day.